Welcome back to my cup of TV with Jenny and JD. So, we have a request from Sky. Hello. Hello. Uh, so, this is BTS If I Ruled the World. Yeah. Oh, if BTS ruled the world, it'd be such a better place. <laughs> it would. It would. Especially RM as the leader. You know, world peace, Mr. President. Got my I vote. would take such an interest in politics. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> would. I would sign up to serve. <laughs> RM would bring about world peace. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Um, well, it's funny because actually the this song is is about is a little bit altruistic, but it's about them kind of calling out things that they feel are wrong in the industry and how they would like to have it and in, in, in the wider world um, and, and how they'd like to have the world. Um, calling out things in the industry though, and this was mm. early days for them, wasn't it? Yeah, so. this is like 2013. So um, yeah, Brave. That's, they're, they're, <laughs> that's well. This is one mm. of the reasons why BTS. Both got noticed, but then also got a bit shunned mm. by some things or, or some programs and whatnot. Because, um, as we know, it was spoken about that they didn't fit the Korean beauty standards. They didn't have a lot of money, so they were other people thought they were, you know, just a joke and whatnot. Um, and they were calling out things. They were being pretty ballsy about yeah. it. So they didn't do themselves any favors of having targets on their back. But um, I love that about them, and that's why they're I... willing to stand up for what they believe. Absolutely, and I think as well it gave it must have given them a bit of fuck it. We've got nothing to lose. Yeah. Let's just say what we want to say then. It also says a lot for Bang PD Nim as a new label. Yeah. To say no, you you can make music about yeah the industry. Yeah, have something to say. Not no, I want to grease a few wheels, keep people happy because. Definitely, and yeah, this is um, this is funky. So it has a bit of a some of their older ones have a little bit of like a more of an R and B or hip hop vibe to yeah. it. So well, that's what they were mm. launching mm. as, wasn't it? Yeah, but you wouldn't necessarily think I don't know R and B or hip hop when you have like Danger or um, no, yeah, you know what I mean. So, but yeah, one of the ones. And some of the ones that we don't have MVs for, but they're ones that I really want to find a performance of, like We On, is like, yeah, really vibey. Yeah. So that's good. But yeah, if I yeah. read the world's funky one. So, yeah. so um, yeah, Sky sent us a link for a performance. Thank you. Yeah. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe in the comments. What's your early BTS album track, B side, that not enough people know about? Mm. I, I do love We On. Yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> oh, yeah, look, this is. Let's bring back that hair for RM. I forgot this had choreo. Yoongi's What? <laughs> what is this dance practice? Oh! 
Lift it up on someone's back and down again without missing a beat. Mm. What would it take to stop J-Hope looking cool? Oh, we needed that. Only RM can stand in front of that size of crowd and just do this and everyone listens. Yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> I feel like I would even sit up or stand up straight and be like, yes, sir. Mm. <laughs> That's cute, though, because it gave them a chance to really hear the crowd yeah. roar as opposed to like having the, the music drown yeah. out a little bit, which is so nice. So um, that's cool. Yeah, do you know what? It's one of those songs that I'm sure... We are going to watch it again, a more modern one with lyrics on. But the, the lyrics are probably really deep and meaningful. Yeah. But the yeah. vibe of the song, not knowing what the lyrics are, gave me the impression that if there was an MV, it would then be them like walking around going like, if I ruled the world, and it would be like random shit happening. Like, yeah, I would yeah. have this happen and this weird thing happen. Yeah. And it is actually, it's quite a, again, it's that R&B kind of just in your car, nice vibe, yeah. not driving, you know, with the windows down. But yeah, you're right. Like the, there's, there's more in the lyrics, which I think is really good because it can be understated and then when you take a deeper look you're like oh okay actually this is really interesting it's a good good message and but because it's the earworm it's yeah. so vibey it can spread do you know what i think it gave me vibe wise and that may be where i'm going with an mv um and i know that this song probably came later billionaire it's i can't remember who it is it's bruno mars and someone else you know I wanna be a billionaire. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like I would do this and I would do yeah. that, and you know. Yeah, embracing the yeah. unrehearsed kind of chaos. 
No, it's just that in that song, he's like, oh, you know, why is it this? Like, I'd have a house like Oprah and I'd have this and I'd have yeah. that. And it's like, gets quite random. And I just imagine that's the kind of MV they would have. Yeah. Based on the vibe of the song. That's what I'm saying. I bet the lyrics are much more deep and meaningful. Yeah. The lyrics talk more about them having more control as artists. Yes. Rather than having to pander to um, the man kind of thing or societal pressures and things. And also they talk about um, more acceptance of people of all religions and races and things like that. So, yeah, you're right. It does have deeper meaning. but. Again, I think it's it's masked very very nicely yeah. because if you were trying to deliver a message that feels pretty heavy and pretty serious, you know what I mean? Yeah. You're like, oh, how can I not make people get bogged down with the seriousness of this? Yeah, and someone like myself, I don't like feeling preached to. Yes, yes, that's so, it. That's yeah. it. So they're doing it in a way that's like, this is important to us, but we're doing it, you know, yeah. kind of happy along the way, which is quite a nice balance. That yeah. song as well, I felt, had a good balance of choreo and interaction. Mm. Like they were doing certain choreo parts, but there was plenty of time when they were kind of just milling around, yeah. interacting. and. I don't know if that bit on the stage was meant to be them being a car and the doors opening or what, I'm not sure. Yeah. But it was funny. Um, Very creative. It's always so interesting to watch this early stuff. Mm. Because I always look at Jim in. And I always just think, you're trying so hard. He really is, yeah. But they all were. Yeah, no, I just mean, they were all... I don't mean like vocally or anything like that. I mean... Oh, to play that part of that boisterous like, boy. Yeah, of a young guy trying so hard to be cool. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, it's funny in a way now to look back and go, oh, that's... And I know that he's in very embarrassed to watch himself back. Yeah. But it's that he hadn't realised yet maybe who he is yeah. and how he is naturally cool. Mm, mm. I know it sounds really like patronising to go in your own way, but mm. he is. So he hadn't yet become comfortable how, Yeah, with being who he is, just, yeah. he's just so cool. Which, loads of teenagers. Yeah. Especially anyway. when you're in a group, which I hope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who can't not be cool. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, he was like, what, 17? Yeah. So, yeah, I can't blame him. I only to bring that hair back. Mm, so that was undercut blonde. Yeah. Wasn't quite the same, but m- my favourite undercut blonde is, is uh, Boy in Love. Mm. Oh, that is yeah. that is the best R home haircut. Nice to see. Because that was like pl- that's platinum white blonde. Yeah. Like, it was nice to see whatever Jim was doing at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> Joking around with something. Cause I think that's it, a little bit of chaos on stage as well. Because I know that when we watch older stuff, we see a lot more either serious gin mm-hmm. or we don't get enough gin. Yeah. Whereas to start off like that, I'm like, that's gin. Yeah. <laughs> and what's interesting there is you're seeing the hints of, even though originally he was given this role of kind of like be this mm-hmm. ice prince, and then he did say that that just was the complete opposite of yeah. him, you're getting elements of him yeah. being able to be himself there and it coming through anyway. So. I mean, you're like, that's gin. And that's the <coughs> yeah. gin that at the time they would all see. Yeah, yeah. I feel like we didn't get as much JK in this <coughs> as I am used to. Yeah, he has vocal bits there. Yeah. Unless yeah. maybe he was doing more on those zoomed out shots than yeah, he was, than um, I knew. He has vocal bits yeah. in there, but I think the camera was just on different people. Yeah. Tay was being Tay. Yeah. One of those, the camera catches him in the corner or is on him. You're like, I'm not quite sure what you're doing, but it's working. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Yungi, like I said, you're up on someone's back and down again without missing a beat and you are continuing to rap and I want to walk up and go breathe mm, bright, old, <laughs> bright old chair yeah yeah and it's so weird now to look at them in like the school uniform style yeah like no no you're like oh you're way too old for that now <laughs> I've said how I feel about the vibe of the song but it's clearly one where the lyrics are important yeah and this one didn't have lyrics so yeah but I think it's going to be good to see it then mm-hmm. and then it more recent you to hear it as well because again yeah. whenever we get something that <clears throat> is the oldie and then they re-perform it I'm always intrigued to hear the the development of the voices and if it sounds any any different yeah. so. and you have to wonder whether I know that the guys are so humble and mm. modest mm. but whether you perform in this song now they'd be like if I wrote the world <laughs> kind of do it in some ways <laughs> I 
very much doubt it. I know, I mean, they wouldn't, but <laughs> yeah, you'd be yeah. like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> you rule my world. Yeah, you rule my world. <laughs> Which one twenty sixteen? Mm. Um, and I have watched a couple now. I think in these outfits, and mm. I really like these outfits. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Every girl, yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. Um, we are. <laughs> You got your wish. <laughs> um, there's more swag yes. than the performance this time. Maybe they know that they do all the world. Thank you, Taylor. I really tried. any music other than ours. lyrics in there maybe I'm just not reading it right I think it's because a lot of k-pop groups who are trying to carve their way into a into that mainstream yeah. won't address certain things like um poverty or racism or anything okay. like that or even yeah. the depression so um 
I can't remember what it is exactly, but there's a bit in there where RM talks about having designers make his clothes. Yes. And Kim Nanjun collection. Yeah, and he's previously said that he uh, he wore a lot of black and it was because he didn't have the confidence to wear flashy stuff yeah. or patterns or anything like that. And so they're just kind of... And I like the way that they, they call it kind of a naive song because they're yeah. talking about it being altruistic and, oh, maybe I'm just dreaming, but yeah. there's something really innocent and sweet in there as well. And so, like I said, they're addressing certain things that most K-pop groups trying to get to the mainstream won't won't sing about yeah. that. Um, so for them to do that and then amongst all the other songs they have on that same mm-hmm. album, like, no, yeah, um, it kind of paints this picture of the album of them okay. pushing back. I like... Well, RM's... I like the idea of ending racism by sleeping with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Quite what he said, but okay. That's how I read it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I like Hope you saying like he'll have women queuing up for Hope World. Yeah. I was like, is, is, that, media, is that what you call it? My immediate thought to that was, do I need a ticket? Is there a gate? Like, where? Where? <laughs> like RM said about the girls. For him, to, yes, we we mm. will die for you. <laughs> I know, isn't it so weird? They've practically got, practically got their wish. Not necessarily yeah. ending all of those things, but you know, saying yeah. again, even you're saying like the things that I want are quite humble. Just to be able to live with his family and things like that. Again, from what Without I'm aware the worry of, of money, from what yeah. I'm aware of with Korean culture as well, there's a very very strict difference between the haves and have nots. Yeah. And so where he's saying like I'd like to live comfortably with my family. That's not a big ask, you know, no. in many countries and many places. And do you places. know what? That is different for a rapper mm. to be saying, I just want to live comfortably with my family and not have to worry about yeah. it. Instead of, I want a big house, big cars and big grades. <laughs> you know, yeah. the normal rap of I want all this yeah. stuff. Yeah. Which even that is, is tongue in cheek because yeah. they, they sing in, in, in their ciphers and whatnot. Yeah. It's like, you, you only know how to rap about this bullshit. Yeah. You don't actually rap about anything real. Um, yeah. Also, so Youngie wants to be a dictator mm. and he wants to censor every music that's not theirs, which made me laugh because I'm like, you probably listen to more music than anybody else. Yeah. <laughs> but again, that's a nod to the fact that they're like, we're putting out music that's very, very um, palatable to the ears. It's yeah. very, you know, you enjoy it, but yet we've got these serious messages in yeah. there, but people will try and quiet us. Yeah. So again, at this at the, when that was first came out in 2013, they're they're acknowledging without outrightly saying about corruption yeah. and people trying to silence them but yet if they actually come out outright and say it then they'll, they'll they will get shut down yeah. so they had to play that delicate balance that performance was a lot more confident yeah Woo. Very much and so. i've said it before i'll say it again in k-pop in the fashion industry mm. Guys, we're in the military right now. This gives us the opportunity to work on bringing back the skinny jeans. Yeah. Baggy jeans can be in whilst they're in there. And then when they come back, boom, we're back to the skinnies. I don't know. I do like the baggy jeans. The, uh, the fuck boy energy that comes from no, them. No. I mean, could we just, you know, take it in turns? JK's physique is built for skinny jeans. <laughs> okay. If I ruled the world, I would put on an amazing K-pop festival. I bring yes. water bomb to the UK, mm-hmm. and BTS will be headlining. So that was our reaction to BTS. If I ruled the world, thanks for watching, and see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.